In part one of this series, I showed some of the plant materials I've used for making what I call nature's Vaseline cotton ball fire starters. In this video, I'll demonstrate how various plant tinder fibers are combined with pine sap to make the starters, and then I'll ignite them using the most inexpensive ferrocerium rod that I could find. You'll see how relatively easy they are to light and get an idea of how hot and long they burn. I'll begin with a demonstration using fluff from a few old thistle heads that I found sticking up above the snow to show how easy it is to light and how fast it burns without the pine gum added in. Then I'll take a small amount of pine gum and blend it in with some of the same fluff. After the fluff and pine gum are mixed well together, I fluff up the ball a little and then set it down on this piece of bark just so I don't melt the foam pad that I'm using for contrast. It, uh, it takes me a few tries to get a spark, but once I do, you see the results. Notice all the black smoke it gives off and how much longer it burns than the fluff alone. This little bit of pine gum and fluff burned for nearly three minutes. Now I'll do the same thing with some cattail fluff. Again, a little bit of cattail, just a little finger full of pine gum, mix them together well. Make it into a ball, fluff it up a little bit. And then we'll see if we can get it to light. That's a lot of black smoke and a lot of heat for such a little fire starter. Again, it burned for several minutes. Fluff material is my favorite tinder to add to pine gum, but if you don't have fluff, um, inner bark from cottonwood or aspen or juniper, it works well. This is cottonwood, 
just showing you again the same process. Take the cottonwood bark, uh, shred it as, as fine as you can, and uh, then add in a little bit of pine gum. Blend the two together, and uh, same process. It works just as well with uh, the fluff from fireweed or epilobium. What's unique about this fluff, um, it's still mostly contained inside the, the seed pods in which it was formed. And so there's a lot of other material in here besides just fluff, but it still worked well. This is the inner bark from aspen, mixed with pine gum. Here's the same thing done now with juniper inner bark. Fluff it up, shred it, mix it with a little pine gum. Set it down, fluff it up, a couple of strikes, and away you go. I have just a few more to show you here. There's singing nettle. The, uh, stem fibers from stinging metal mixed with pine gum work really well. This is the fluff from a clematis vine, a climbing vine that, that uh, you can find this fluff in the dead of winter. It'll grow quite high up above the snow level. It lights very well. And then for the last three, I've got a plume from a Phragmites plant, fluff from a milkweed, and then some bark from the clematis plant. You can see that that clematis bark was the hardest one to light for me, but it still worked. I hope you'll try this technique and experiment with additional plant tinder fibers from your own area. I also hope you'll watch part three of this series in which I look at some emergency alternatives to the plant fiber portion of these fire starters.